Welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Project Eden. I'm your host Probability of Success Zero and this is episode 26 in our series 4 playthrough. Now before you do anything else I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like, subscribe and notification icon so that you too can stay up to date with my releases. If you're interested in seeing what happened previously just follow the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. For this episode we're going to be following on from the previous episode where we were assigned a mission or in fact we were assigned several missions by the Polaris so um, I had a bit of a look off camera because initially the mission I asked for didn't appear in my mission log just here and it turns out the reason for that is that it's not actually a mission in that kind of regard it's actually a location marker and you have to go to that that system so that's what we're going to be doing in this particular episode so we're going to follow on for the mission i asked for even though i'm not entirely sure why it's not giving me an actual clickable mission in here but uh we'll, we'll basically see where that leads so at the minute we're still in our starting system so this will be the first episode where we leave our starting system i'm hoping that's not going to cause us any problems uh how far is that that's 7.1 light years so it's just oh yeah that's really close that's that shouldn't be a problem let's lock that now if you remember at the end of last episode we actually turned off our engines so I'm going for external view. So we're actually in fact, why the hell are we we moving? We shouldn't be moving. Oh, that'll be the RCS kicking in. Right, so there's thrusters online. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel. Oh, we're literally gonna fly through the sun to get to our destination. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's jump and go. Right, okay. Warning received. Let's just run the scanner. See if there's anything in this area. Apparently not. Right, okay. That's a uh, sufficient warning. So apparently we've, we've walked into some kind of warp rift. Right, okay, let's just, can we, yeah, here we go. Right, there is a planet here and a couple of moons. There's also the object. That's where we need to go. So let's lock that. That's 19 AU away. And let's make sure we do have, yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. Let's warp. Right, I'm going to bring weapons online. Oh, God. Right, okay. Yeah, what the actual hell. Whoa. Like, absolute whoa. That is a lot of rock. Right, running Ooh. scanner. Oh, we've detected something. Right, let's space break for a sec. 
Is there anything else on scanner? No. Just object 82. Radiation 100. Oh, hell no. Right. Um, it's a good, sh good job we're inside the ship, otherwise, we'd be dead. Right, we're just going to have a quick look. That is vicious. That is absolutely vicious. That is a lot of rock. If you think about just how many individual voxels that is, that is a hell of a lot. Okay, we're getting close to the object now. Okay, that's visible now. Probably should slow down. Right, I'm going to just wipe the shields on, because frankly I don't know what's about to happen. I've got weapons active just in case. I haven't got many, many missiles, so uh, hopefully we don't get into a firefight. Yeah, night vision's not giving us much. Don't seem to be any weapons. Okay, so my turret fired. That was clever. So breaking. Oh, we've got a cautionary marker. Yeah, something's happened. Right, are we going to risk this guys? Are we risking getting out and seeing if we die of radiation? I'm not seeing... Have we even got the light on? There we go, the light's on. Oh, there hang the doors. This structure is really big. Right, I'm not entirely sure. Without the code, I don't think we can get in. Let's see, have we triggered any kind of mission? No.
Okay, so it seems to be implying we need some kind of code to even have an attempt to look inside. We're bouncing off the structure. Seeing if there's a pattern to the. No, well, there is a pattern, but it's always the same, so it's not like the code can be discerned from the uh, panels. Night vision's not telling me anything. Same on top, right? Okay, I think that's a bust, guys. Right, shields can go down, obviously. There's no threat here. The only threat is apparently my own turrets. Right, okay, so. So it's saying you need to get the codes from somewhere local. Rogue system, Rogue PX thirty seven. Right. Right, I don't see we could try explore. Yeah, okay. Let's nip over to this world just here. Hopefully we should be able to pick up some warp fuel. Not that we need it, it'd be just nice if we could. Let's take the space brakes off and warp. That's a very long walk. Okay, we've got multiple contacts already. Holy crap. Shields, weapons, everything's on. What in hell? breaking we have a moving legacy target what right we what have we got around us apparently a lot we've got two of these flaming red moons Oh, we've got a target less than 5k. We're going to approach and try an ID. I'm probably going to regret this. God, that thing's shifting. It's a drone harvester. I have no idea what that is. Shields are active. Weapons are active. Hopefully, this is not going to be the end of the playthrough series. Are we engaging? Yeah, we're engaging. Yep, yeah, we've engaged.
we disabled it. Seriously, that quickly? I think we may have just got lucky, guys. I think we just literally KO'd it with about two shots. What the hell is that? Right, let's just run the scanner. We've got nothing approaching as of this second. There is a contact 15k away. Right. Radiation is quite bad outside. We are going to have to do this quickly. Oh, hello. How does this work? Um. Gonna grab all of that? No, that wasn't what I wanted to do. You cannot damage this, but oh right, so we need to get inside, don't we? Oh, there it is. That's a cop. Just grab what we can as fast as we Oh, hello. Yep, worth taking this ship out. Okay, we need to get that engine. Okay, what else? We'll have that. Um, we'll just grab what we can. Nearly done. I think we just have. Oh no. Is that it? I think we just got the whole ship. That was a nice little loot. We left shields running. Yeah. Okay. Nah, there ain't no drone there. There is a drone coming at us, so six k away. We need to say hello to him. Okay, we've linked onto the wrong container. It's fine, it's fine, as long as we get the stuff. That's enough stuff. Whoa! So I thought we had loads of contacts suddenly appearing below us. 
Missile away. Nice. Missile away. This one's a lot harder to take down, apparently. Don't want to be messing around wasting those missiles. Right, hang on, turn that off. Do not mess around with thrusters. Leave the thrusters alone. Mounted weapons, warp drive. I'm not worried about those. Apply to group. Okay. Uh, weapons back on. Take out the generator. Got it. Right. Did we take out the core? I'm not entirely sure. Apparently we did. Just get the engines. Oh, hello. is different to the other one. Come on, reload. Yeah, we're going to leave that. Could be here all day. Oh my god, it's actually a really big structure. Just want to make sure I've got all the engines. bail on that. Wow. That's two good loots. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, we're going to organise this. We're just going to move everything across and I'll move those bits back. There you go. Wow. 3,000 plus titanium plates. Um, nice. That's such a good haul. Okay. So, uh, disconnect on that is actually the cargo bay. Put that onto there. Link onto that. Oh, we picked up a small optotronic bridge. Yes, there it is. It's not bad either. Let's have a look. I think they're not going to go anywhere, are they? Where are 
away. Oh, we're there. Okay, so... I'm going to mark that one and say that was the first one. So that's cleared. Is that... Yeah, that's the... No, it's not. It's definitely not that one. Can mark this current location. Right, we're going to have to fly over to that second location, just so I can mark it is cleared. Oh, hello. Right, we we should be all right. Okay, shields impacted. Yeah, we we're all right. two drones down, we'll just bump up. Go back a bit. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Um, right, we can do this quickly. Come on. Quick, quick, get inside the ship! Get inside the ship! Okay, we're probably at the wrong top of us now. Yeah, they, they're getting pretty close. Hang on. Damaged convoy vessel. Right, we are getting surrounded here. This is not a good place to be. Holy crap, there's a lot of drones. Right, um... Ah, they're locking onto things above us. Right, so we've got issues with drones all around us. They're coming in, aren't they? Yep. Damn. We're going to have to bail, I think. That's a lot of drones. How much fuel have we got? <laughs> I don't think we've got enough missiles. We've only got 20 missiles left. They are absolutely determined to swarm us. We've got another contact coming in. That is not a drone, though. Alright. 
I'm gonna bail. Let's see if we can grab this brain quickly. Oh god, the firing! Oh, they took the opportunity, didn't they? Yeah, they took the opportunity. Okay. Oh, we're getting flanked. Come on, boys. We've got we've got guns for days here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Cream the lot of them. Damn, these guys got totaled. We've got even more drones coming in. Right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to bail. This is getting a bit too hot for us. Sight drone harvester. Damage convoy vessel. There's just too much going on here. We need. I'm going to take the main missile batteries offline. Um, we're going to take them off that. Take them off that. We just want the missile batteries now for larger ships. We're going to leave the sentries dealing with these pups. Alright. Is anything in this system worth getting? No. Right, we, d we need to bail, don't we? Right. Three moons and a planet. Could we get down to the planet? Uh, we're going to jump back to beta. Yeah, we've got more drones inbound. Let's just go to meet them. Running me. That's one down. Two down. You're gonna regret running into me, mate. That's three down. Yeah, sentry guns do quite a good job of dealing with that. Uh, Space drones. But we can um, safely say that the locus is. Um, Locus, yeah, is uh, certainly earned its uh, pay. Oh, God, come on, I 
Come on. Come on. Oh, you're trying to out. Oh, you're running away. Let's close the distance. Done. <laughs> oh, you, you can hear his armor going. I think that's all of them done, isn't it? Just one more. There's one, one more coming. This is why I put guns on the rear now. Oh, you're not outrunning me. Yeah, you're wasted. Right, and I think we're safe to jump out. Do we have a waypoint? We should have a waypoint over there. We've got more contacts inbound. Oh, bloody hell. We need to have our shields offline. It's fine. Let's check we can actually go that way. Shields off and warp. So that is a pretty hostile system. I lost count of how many drones we had to destroy then. Right. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the mission ship and see if they... Uh, but give us anything for that object 82. I know we didn't open it, but still, I'm hoping it might actually give us something. Weapons are off. Don't want to end up with friendly fire. There it is. So I'm pretty happy with how the, the locust is actually um, has performed. I think it's performed a lot better than what I thought it was going to. Especially in combat. I mean we've taken out two drone harvesters as well as a whole fleet of drones. Not bad going. And have we still got missiles? We've got a few missiles left. I need to get some in the restroom. Unfortunately we're running <laughs> dangerously low restroom and we need that to build the missiles. Are we even going forward? Come on. I think that's the top side. And deploy space brakes. 
it's the bottom, isn't it? Is it the top? That is the bottom. And that's the top. Oh, it's very hard to tell. Okay, we should be able to... If we hold back a minute, switch the engines off and we'll go wandering over. Oop. <laughs> Check that out. Space walking. Whee! Right, so we need to speak to the data guy again. Not data guy, the lead researcher. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Oi, Dave. Okay, I want to talk about something else. Let's go. Right, he's not going to give us anything, is he? Right, um, that's a bit of a let down. Just run back here quickly. By run, I mean obviously use jetpack. Time to steal some food. When I did this hungry work, I deserve some waffles. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Uh, anything else in there? What can I harvest their food? Oh, everything's just growing. Damn it. That's a bit sucky. Oh, we've got some wheat here. No, I'm not going to steal their wheat. That's, that's a bit uh, mean. So, I need my O2. Oh yeah, I meant to have a look to see if they've got any rockets. No, they don't. Oh, damn it. Right, I think I'm going to call the episode and end just there. We've made some very interesting discoveries. Obviously, there is more to be discovered about that object 82. There's some kind of codes. I don't know where those codes are, but we're going to have to figure out where they are. Obviously, going to the rogue planet was a bit of a bit of a eye opener. That was an extremely aggressive space environment. The Zirak and the Legacy are very active there, so we're probably not going to be able to go back there unless we get more missiles for the the Lotus, Lotus, Locus. Um, so that would require us to get some arrest room. So I'm not entirely sure where we can get that. We might be able to buy some off maybe the Polaris. So we're going to have to see about that off camera. So for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a bit of an eye opener and I'll catch you in the next episode in a bit.